What's going on you guys? This is Andrew Roboto 2021 here and welcome to Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's Revived where this is a remastered, the remastered version of Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's that was originally released in 2015 and this game is also, the music is reminding me very much of um Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese is rebooted, which um, Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese is re rebooted um, is another remastered game of the original Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's that was released in 2015. In fact, both of them are, though. But they're made by different developers, though. This one's made by Jeb Yoshi, and it was just released just recently. And I figure why not play it, because I have played um, the reboot of one. As well as the original, and um, the, which speaking of the original game, that was made by Jolly T, and then FNAF was made by Scott Cathon, and then um, Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's rebooted was made is made by um, Team Radiance, which that game was released back in 2021, which was a few years after the original game was released in 2015. And now this game was just recently released, so I figure why not play it? Cause, cause I mean it's a it's a FNAF fan game, and I like FNAF fan games. But yeah, just thought I'd give a basic backstory of the game. But anyways, um, without further ado, we will start a new game. Let's see how that works. Insane Chuck E. Cheese's manager opens new store. Is he really that insane? Okay. Last morning, the manager who had previously opened the much-beloved and much-dangerous Chuck E. Cheese's in Simpleton FR, which I believe is France. I believe that's the abbreviation of France. I can correct me if I'm wrong. Proudly opened his lovely new rat-infested location a mile away from the old one. It's in terrible condition, animatronics are back, and better than ever to make your children happy. Know my sarcasm, but... This is clearly sarcasm. It is not a safe restaurant to work in. And it's dangerous. It's fun, you know. Spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a crappy pizza place is fun. Not doing any quality control whatsoever is fun. I want to see what these animatronics can do without any restrictions or limitations. They aren't just performers. They're real to me. They're real. Please don't complain about their condition, because you are properly just as ugly as them, the manager said. I'd like to see you open a Chuck E. Cheese as big as this. Note, note my over-exaggerating, note, note my over-exaggeration and sarcastic voice for this article. I just had to do it. Okay, but anyways... Despite the previous location's dangers and the manager's opening statement, the financial guy confirmed to us that this location is dedicated to maintaining safety and fun for the whole family. Yeah, sarcasm! Sure, yeah, yeah, family fun is what Cooper tells us to strive for, so I guess we have to follow that if we want to last longer than a week or something. It'll mean dog shit returns because kids aren't going normal CCs, Chuck E. Cheese's anymore, but whatever. Oh yeah, hey desperate guys, CEC is proud to announce that it needs a good night guard to watch over the place. Yeah, one who won't die. Con conditions are vastly improved from the old location and bigger size means you'll have more work to do monitoring the place. Yeah, the pay is minimum wage, but I'll ask the manager if you get free access to the arcade games. To make up for it, the manager did not reply. Most likely because the manager quit because he does not want to work for an insane Chuck E. Cheese's manager because, while well, the place is in squalor. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> all exaggeration and sarcasm aside, without further ado, let's take on night one and let's see what has to offer for it. Oh, this definitely reminds me of the original game, this whole office and the gameplay. 
turn around? That wasn't in the original. Oh, it's a Yoshi sound effect. Oh, I can turn around? Okay, what's this life for? Okay, there's way too many cameras. You don't need that many cameras. Why would you need this many cameras? Fifteen and seventeen, got it. Assume Chucky's gonna go to the door and we have to wind the game when he shows up and then for Jasper and Helen we gotta check the cam 15 and 16 cam 15 16 and 17 okay and who do we gotta turn around for Oh, we can close the back door too? Okay. Okay, he's asleep. There's somebody that's asleep back there. Okay. So how are we going to deal with um, Chuck, who's behind us? Hmm. Do I just have to blind them with a light or something? Yeah, very intimidating laughter. Okay, so we have two do we have three doors to close and a vent to close. We have the front, the middle door the left door and then the back door. Okay, I hear kitchen rattling sounds. Okay. So I guess when that guy wakes up, we just flash the light at him or something.
Ah, Chucky. Okay. Okay, so we gotta wind the gate for Chucky. Okay. Okay, good. Chucky left. Good. Because Chucky obviously has the same mechanic as in the other two finance Chuck E. Cheese's game I've played. Um, we have to close the gate to deal with him. And I guess I gotta flash the light at Chuck who's behind me. And then for Helen, Mr. Munch, and I'm... Whoa! Okay. Okay, so we get a tip. Okay. Alright, so Jasper just jump scared us. Keep an eye on the left corner camera. Don't open the left door until you hear knocking. Faster movement equals least faster. Okay. Hey, at least we get to restart night once. That's good. Okay. Okay, so... So Jasper will be coming to... The door. The left door. Okay. And then either Helen or Mr. Munch will come through either the back door or the vent. So we got it. And then Chucky obviously comes to the middle door. So, okay. And then for Chuck, we have to, I guess, flash the light at him or something to keep him away maybe or something. I don't know. I think that's all we got to do for him. Okay. So really the cameras you got to focus on are 15, 16, and 17, which are the ones near you. To check for Chucky and his friends. Okay, so I figured that out. And this turning around thing reminds me of Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's rebooted because because we had to turn around in order to call to to go to the gate and close it on Chucky. But I mean the mechanics though are pretty much the exact same as the original Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's game. Difference was we didn't have a turnaround mechanic. We didn't have to turn around on that game, like in the rebooted one. And why is there music being played? It's making the game stressful. I hate when the muse when I hate when background music is played in these type of games because then it just makes the night stressful. Like, it makes you, it makes you get, like, chills. And are we going to be dealing with Krusty the Cat in this game, too, or Pasquale? I imagine we'll deal with them at some point, maybe. Pasquale and, uh, who's the other one? Krusty the Cat. We'll probably deal with them at some point. Okay, so I'm going to check the cameras. Ah, Chucky. Okay. Wind the gate. Something I didn't know till now, but um, I didn't notice this. There's a ceiling fan up there. There's a there's an air vent that's on, and there's also this picture thing or whatever that's dangling on the wall. Whatever that is. It's like dangling on the wall, whatever it is. 
Okay, I'm checking for Jasper, and I gotta check for Howlin' as well as, um, Chalk and then Chalky. Oh, there's Jasper. Gotta close the door. The door makes noise. Okay, Jasper left, so that's good. So when we hear footsteps, it means he leaves. I'm gonna check this back side to see if we have to deal with anyone from the, the back door. I'm checking though. And I gotta check the vent camera too. As well as the back and left corner. Up, oh, Chucky. Made it to 5 a.m., so we're doing well, so that's good. Oh, gotta close the vent. Helen's here. Great, the vent also makes noise. So this is the first game I've played where a door and like a vent make noise. Okay, hell and left, so that's good. It does drain the fat, the power faster, though. The, the middle door does not drain power. Only the left door as well as the back door. And then the vent. Whoa! Ugh, I forgot about Jasper. Jesus, I forgot to check for Jasper. I gotta check for ja remember to check for Jasper. <laughs> God, I was doing so well until Jasper killed me. God, God, I, I, I easily forget about Jasper. It's a good thing I can actually check the cameras. Forgot to point this out. I can also check the cameras while looking behind me. So that's actually a good thing. So I won't have to lose track of who I'm looking for. So no, at least I know how to deal with Helen, though, so that's a good thing. So for Helen, we have to close the vent when we see her on the camera. Jasper, when we see her on cam 15. Jasper, if we see him on cam 16, we have to close the left door. And then I'm wondering who's going to come from the back door. Because I know for Chucky, he comes to the middle door. Wonder who's going to be coming to the back door. 
because I'm checking behind me. I don't know why Chucky and the others haven't came yet. <laughs> Interesting. Guess I'm getting lucky or something. Stressful music. Here it comes. And here's Chucky. Alright. Helen left, so that's good. I'm looking for Jasper. Jasper. Okay, Helen. Okay, Jasper, is he here? Nope. Just done with Helen. So. Let me check for Chucky. Nope, not there. Jasper. And we beat night one. There we go. Yay! The kids are cheering. And there's confetti. That's what I like about beating a night. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, just bring this to the next night. Okay. So we will take on night two in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and hit the bell to receive all notifications on there as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.